You can kill dreams. You can kill innocence. You can kill freedom. But you can't kill progress. Hey everybody, Chris Farad here. Welcome back to Mankind Divided. Uh, there's a few things that we need to do here. Uh, number one, we need to go and check out this rave. Uh, we need a secret key card to get in, which we don't have, but we're gonna look for an alternative entry point. Um, we need to validate the permits that we gave to Edward and Iranka, and then we've got to find Samizdat in this Davni district. Uh, this is the guy that we were IMing from the computer that was the source of the hack into our, or the front company, Praha Dovos, which is the front company for TF29. So, um, we know where his location is too. I'm pretty sure that we left off and we're near... Yeah, the rave is like right down here in this courtyard. So it's behind the building directly in front of us. Let's just go and check this out first. And see what's going on with this neon drug. Is this it? Nope. I bet you this is it. Yeah, we are not getting in there. Not gonna happen. What other options do we have? We're not gonna be able to jump over. It's all blocked off. A dumpster, okay, well, this looks like it's probably a way in. And I think truthfully, that's gonna be the next thing that we upgrade is the ability to move some of these heavy objects. We've run into a few that have stopped us from uh, proceeding to where we wanted to. And so, yeah, that's gonna be a good one to get. We might not be able to get in here just yet, unless, what if, what if we can access it from underneath? The only reason this may not work is that when we look at the map, it actually shows where our exit points are from underneath. I didn't know that. But from the top level, which I doubt we're going to be able to see, uh, from ground like from ground level uh, mapping, we can see the exits out into the streets. So I guess it's behind us here. Is there a way that we can... I'm not too concerned about this gas. We've got the rebreather. I don't think we're getting in there. Is there anything on the other side? Whoa. We do have a door here. Nothing. Okay. If we head this way, we're going totally the wrong direction, so... The only other thing I can think of is we either need to upgrade the... Uh, our arm augmentation, or we go back to the apartment and search for the key. I remember we got jumped by those officers there, and we kind of panicked, so maybe that's the best option, is heading back to that apartment and looking for the key. So let's go. It's actually relatively close. And if it's not in there, then maybe we run into it some other some other way. Somebody would have the key or can give it to us. There's the apartment building. Number 33, can't miss it. And it was apartment 202, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, 202. I love that these guys are still here. How long do they stay out for? Welcome home. Okay, we're in a restricted zone now. How was your day? My day was fine. Thanks for asking. Just gonna know that it's not the homeowner again, but let's actually ch let's check the controls for her and see if we went through everything. Hello again. So, mail-wise, 
What was the attachment on this again? Swan services located somewhere. That was Bonbon bon who is like, look, um, if you're distributing, like, we're gonna need to know about it. Or if you're buying from someone else, I need to know who. What happened last night? Please tell me you got rid of the body. If not, maybe call that secret service of yours. There's supposed to be cleaners. Oh, that's right. Oh, we can actually call cleaners from here. I don't know if... Now, is this the cleaning company? Remember, we're the ones with someone on the inside. We're the ones who control Neon, and we're the ones who deserve to get rich. If you need anything, you know how to get in touch. Okay. Let's check the options with the smart home again. The languages, it was not installed. I remember that. Environment. We did the lights, the curtains. What if we just hire this cleaning service? I'm sure they'll be happy to comply. Your order has been placed. Thank you. Okay. Security Se is of utmost importance. We'll leave the doors unlocked. Keep the wall panels open. I'm not seeing any other options, but maybe... Maybe call that secret service of yours. It's supposed to be cleaners. This could be interesting. Okay. So... Order confirmation. Another order already, John? All right, man. We're just happy you like the stuff so much. Someone will take care of the apartment as soon as it's possible. Don't worry about sticking around. We know how to get in. I suggest you go for a walk. Take care of anything you need to take care of. Once you get back, you'll find the package on your bed. So drugs, I guess. Well, or hell, we'll even clean the place for you just to keep up appearances. P.S. You're coming to the Neon Rave, right? I'll slip you an extra key card in case you want to bring somebody. That, um, that works. That works for me. So we're going to have to go and do something else and come back later. So that means we could actually go and maybe validate these permits. And if I'm not mistaken, that was near the rave, was it not? Let's check this from outside. That's so cool. So that could be our way of um, not having to invest that Praxis. I still want that, that Praxis point, though, in the heavy lifting. It was down here somewhere. Right here. Is this it? Governmental Registration Office, validate the permits. That is what we want. So from here, we can just... Let's head to the left, and then around. Stop. I don't know how much time we need. The shopkeeper was late on his production hey, you. So my got but I'm hoping that after we go and take care of this, that we could go back there and find that package. Where does this lead? Auto dilly. No reason to go in there. Okay, so is this... Yeah, this is it. Permit validation office is closed. It's always closed. Jeez. Why is that a restricted area? Stuck down here. Can we talk? I heard something. Oh, no. oh, jeez. Okay, okay. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're gonna have to find another way in. This is down to the metro. That's not gonna help me. Maybe I could crawl along that ledge in the back there, but I'll probably just fall to the ground. Let's check the other side. Looks like we can remotely hack the security camera, so we could take out the officer, maybe. Do we have a way in over here? Oh shit, maybe. come soon enough. No. Yes. Can we get up there? Wow. That is so cool. That is really cool. Not 
much going on. Tell me that this gets us in here. I don't know what I'm looking at here, but... Oh, we're definitely in a restricted zone. Nice. Whoo! Is this... I don't even know if we're in this thing's vision. We're probably fine here. Okay, let's check. Um, we need to hack in. So we need to get up here somehow. Fortification detection 75%. Well. Anomaly detected. We're going to need to Trace invest in some stealth initiated. hacking improvements. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, we got it. Access granted. Okay, so cameras. Let's disable these. There's another guy in front, too. It's not just that guard. What do we have here? Permit stations deactivated. There we go. That is awesome. Milena, I got into the ARC permit register. We got 50 seconds. Hold on. That should give me access now as well. Why am I seeing a security timer? Probably because neither of us have done this before. Oh, this is Cross good. Cross your fingers. I borrowed this employee ID from a guy in a bar. Oh, so she can do it remotely from here then, once we have access. Why does it say there's only one validation slot? Shit, shit, shit! The city has quotas no. for this kind of thing. Frag is oh, no. to regulate people to death. What does that mean? We're gonna have to pick! The system won't let this guy register two people. Just scan something. There isn't much time. Are you fucking kidding me? At least. Oh, no! Validate Edward's permit or Iranka's permit. Oh, Iranka is like the crazy one in the basement. This guy's been through a lot. He like killed people when he was. Oh God. Edward's documents should hold up to any kind of scanning check now. He's as legit as he can be, without actually being. Ooh, legit. I don't know if that's a good call. Help two people. It doesn't always work that way. Look, you need to get out of there. The thing is, please. Man, in that moment. Malena. That permit oh. I wasn't able to scan. That's weird. What happens to Irenka now? She probably ends up in Golem. Or she gets arrested for trying to use fake documentation. Thrown into a cell somewhere. Are you serious? I don't know. Doesn't exactly feel like a win, does it? No, it doesn't. We did the best we I could. I wonder if there's a Listen, way... thanks for being one of the good guys. I wonder if there's a way we could have helped both. That's, um... That sucks. So, in that split-second decision, I'm thinking Edward, because just all this... He's been... Th I mean, she's been through a lot, too, but he really opened up to us about how um, he, like, killed people or, or... Like, he went through a lot, and people kept things from him. We were pretty honest and told him what really happened when he was being controlled by the... Um, during the incident and stuff. I don't know, that's a tough call, but at least we are able to help one of them. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay. Well, I mean, we got the job done. We didn't save both. There's probably a way to do it, too. Damn. All right. I wonder if we could go back and talk to her. She was over here somewhere. I think in this area. I don't know. We'll have to see later. We need to head over here now uh, into these sewers uh, near the music box. So it's going to be to our right, and then we just head straight ahead pretty much. And we'll meet with that guy who we were chatting with on IM. I always get a little nervous when I go into the sun. And then we'll go back and pick up the key card, hopefully that I don't know, hopefully that's enough time. 
You know what de- like, what does deactivating these cars do? I don't want to do this to a- an officer's car while he's right around us, you know? Okay, we actually have to go back. A little fast food place there. Are we heading in the right direction now? How is it that I am getting con totally lost here? If we take the pedestrian bridge, we're gonna end up. Yeah, this will work. I okay, that's why. I saw the test results. Spanish flu. That's impossible. We eradicated the Spanish flu decades. Got some more storage lockers. You know what? Nobody's looking. Whoa. Security level five? This is more our style here, but... Okay, so this one we can get for free. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. More than enough time. Oh, wait, I'm going to the wrong one! Let's see if we can get there. We can always back out. Nope. <laughs> that was close. We have to get two. I, know, I shouldn't say the wrong one, but we have to get two of them, so... Um, this one's gonna be free. And then I think we'll start both of these at the same time. And fortify. Anomaly nice. Detected. Trace program initiated. There we go. Should do it. Access granted. Now this one's got me curious. This is not a regular security door either. Shipments coming through marked from Kosinski early morning, so make sure blue has pulled the right crate. One other thing, Igor and the boys won't be picking up from the drop-off locker until the weekend, so I want to ask you... I want you to ask no questions, lift twice the usual cut, and bring it to the bar as soon as you get into Prague. You can drop the rest as usual on Friday. Keypad doesn't change until Monday, so it's set to 0610. I'll have more... I'll explain more when I see you. So where is this? Drop-off locker. Bring it to the bar as soon as you get into Prague. Hmm. Nice. What is that ticking? Oh, that's a clock. I was like, oh, that can be bad. Okay. Well, I don't suppose it's talking about this one. No. Okay, well, if we find it, then... We'll have the code to get in. Let's head for the sewers now. I really wish we could just mark it and it would kind of guide us there, but... Stick to your own. So left and then right. Are people going to ask questions if I just all of a sudden hop into... A manhole cover? What is she saying? Maybe if you wait 20. Hold well on. What about five minutes? Maybe. Not right now. Okay, I thought they were. I thought I misheard something, but. Let's head I don't in. usually blurt out my political views to people on the streets, but I just. Yeah. That guy was trying to be sympathetic to the Ogs. Thanks, I guess. Davni. Whoa. There is no such thing as free will. We are programmed from birth. Heretic, culture, background. We think we make choices, but even they are programmed. 
Okay, so how are we gonna find this guy from here? He's actually down a level. So I mean, maybe we can access from here. I'm telling you, I hear whispers in the wall. <laughs> Not in your head, brother. Whoa. We've got a setup down here. Is this the right floor? Yes, it is. I do not talk to strangers, and you are definitely a stranger. Now, I can see... <laughs> we need to get back there. Again, a heavy object blocking us. There's got to be another way. Is there another way into that area? You can see that it's blocked right off. Maybe if I go up and around, maybe there'll be a way to drop down? It doesn't look like I'm gonna be moving this thing. Unless... There we go. We'll sneak right through it. Did he give us the code for this place? Yep. Whoa, 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 put this away. Keep him from exposing TF-29. I'm on the inside trying to play the long game. I can't afford to have some rogue journalists getting in the way and making things complicated, not to mention risking the lives of the agents I work with. Zamas not need to forget whatever they think they know about Praha Dovos. Well, this should be difficult. Don't shoot! We're journalists! Who invited the agent type? Who are you? <laughs> what do you Is want? it that obvious? Why are you here? You, you hear because of the Dubai story? The article about the moon base? The, the, the clones? The, the clones on the moon base? Who, who sent you? I'm here for Sam's dad. You in charge? I take charge, but I'm not in charge, man. No one owns or detects the truth. Freedom of information is a collective right, man, and the, and the collective responsibility. That said, you gonna break someone's nose? You break my nose. Okay, well... <laughs> Let's just see if he'll play along with us. I didn't come here to break anything. I just need you to cooperate. I spent my 20s in a commune, man. I'm all about cooperation. You seem a little edgy. Good. It's about something you've been looking into. It's making some people nervous. What do you know about Praha Dovos? That little import company? I know there's more than boxes in the basement. We've seen agent types come in and out. The place is a curtain. The first in a series of many. Pull them all back and you'll find... Damn. Tell me I'm wrong. It's a dead end. <laughs> right. Guys like I mean, it's pretty obvious that... Because of dead ends. It's not a dead end. Fine. If we come here to talk what about it. it's something other people are already looking into? If someone like you makes too much noise, that may compromise any chance they have of uncovering something bigger. Do you understand? <laughs> I'm supposed to believe we're colleagues now? You men in black types, you walk into Pike's newsroom, tell them to be hush-hush about something, and they do it. But that's not how it works here. One day, you will all be exposed. If not by me, then someone just like me. Sam is that isn't one voice. K isn't one man. Okay, well... What do you mean saying K isn't one man? 
What did you mean when you said K wasn't one man? K is an ideal, the intangible leader of tangible resistance. You can kill me, but then little K would become K. Kill little K and, and Bones over there becomes K. That's there's always a K. And what if you kill Bones? <laughs> you can't kill Bones, man. <laughs> Bones isn't leader. This guy I is think he was one of them. He was supposed to be a prince of Belgium, man, but then he broke his condition. We found him inside this fucking cult, all confused, so we reprogrammed him with the truth. Right. That seems good. Suppose I needed to make a deal with Sam as that. There's no one person I can talk to? Depends on the deal. I mean, there's always going to be an editor. Editor makes the final call on all published material. That would be me. Well, let's chat. So you could ensure that something doesn't get talked about. Depends on the deal. What exactly do you do down here? Sami's that is a media uprising. While Pikes panders to corporate tyranny and government bullshit, we pump out the truth. We uncover it, we write it, we publish it. We get our noses broke for it. So you print pamphlets. <laughs> well, we do a lot more than that. We got ways of getting into Pikes media network. That's how we disseminate information. Information you get by hacking into places you shouldn't. The truth is buried. If digging it up means skirting a few rules, so be it. Okay, well, is there a I way of you convincing you? Dovos, but not for the reason you assume. You relax, I get it. You don't think I do, but I do. You've got to appease your military industrial masters. You've all been there, man. I'm not who you think I am. Kinds of people who manipulate the news, who cover things up. You don't need to convince me that's who the enemy is. The enemy is anyone who conceals the truth. And that's exactly what you're asking me to do. To pretend like that little import company isn't hiding something. I'm asking you to see a difference between conspiracy and discretion. Between people who hide information in order to push their own agendas, and those who need to stay off the radar in order to do their jobs. You of all people should understand. Okay. Oh, okay, look. You seem like a reasonable guy. Hell, I've usually been punched by now. I find this refreshing. Can't imagine Here's that happens we frequently. We forget all about Praha Dovos and stay out of your way as long as you give us something better. Of course. What's what do the you trade? suggest? The only thing I hate more than secret organizations are toothless media conglomerates who don't hold anyone accountable, who spit lie after lie after lie. So I propose a trade. There are places my people can't get into. You get into one of those places and find me some dirt on the real enemy here. Pikes meet Oh. Do that, and I'll cut whatever you want me to cut. I could be into that. Who knows? Maybe you'll even learn something. I probably would. Persuade? You're gonna forget everything you know. Oh, cool. Don't vote for now. It's the okay, only so you to protect your ideals. There's multiple ways of going about it. <laughs> Right, because concealing information is obviously the best way to keep people informed. You really think I'm that stupid? There's this word you might want to look up. It's called transparency. It means people have the right to know, no matter what the cost. Omega, Omega, Beta, Beta, Alpha. Subject's dedication to truth verges on obsession. His capacity for reasoning is sharp, though may veer toward the tangen tangential or even wild. Fear and extreme mistrust of authority are likely to be well-founded, though further aggravated by a life lived in hiding. Hmm. Let's go with objectify here. Fair enough. But there's a difference between speculation and fact. Right now, I'm betting you don't have anything tangible to go on. You don't know who I am, what my role is, or what's really going on. Wait until the facts are out before you go spewing misinformation everywhere. Before you get people killed. Okay, maybe I don't have all the facts yet, I'll give you that, but I know something's going on down there. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. That's why you always have to keep digging. The truth, the real truth, it's a rare fucking bird, man. And if you're too slow or too careful, it fucking flies off. So when I get so much as a hint of truth, I strike when I can, as hard as I can. A bunch of beta traits there. 
Omega came up a couple times, but whatever the cost is, that it. A stronger reading from want to be being a beta Pikers, personality. Right? What does Pikus do? They frighten people. They sensationalize the news. They misdirect. If you want to resist them, you need to strive to be objective. You need to deal in truths. And the truth is, putting Braha Dovos under the spotlight right now is dangerous to me and useless to the public. Wait until it's time. Okay. Okay, I get it. I don't want to compromise no one's investigative journalism. Uh, sometimes you move too fast and the real story flies off before you even had a chance to see it. That's Increase not what Increase sweating. So you go break open whatever it is you're breaking open and we'll lay off Braha Dovos. For now. You're making the right choice. We'll see. You know, we could still use your help, though. Journalistic integrity may not mean very much topside, but it still means something down here. And that's why I think you should help us. You're our best shot at hitting the mass media where it hurts. I mean, I am interested in checking out Pikus as well, so... This could be mutually right, beneficial. about Pikus? I want skeletons, the kind that companies like Pikes come all the way to Prague just to bury. Corporate archiving, man. Corporate archiving, huh? You asking me to break into a bank? I'm not talking vaults here. Ashani Talvar, the Palisade CEO. She leverages her clients, keeps information about them close at hand. She's got something on Pikes, I know it. I just can't get to it, but I bet you could. You poke into her office, find something that proves how nasty Pikes is, how much they love to piss on the truth, and I promise you this, I'll misplace any file you want. I like the we'll sounds see. of that. That Check could work. What do you got for me? And we got the Praxis. Now. No one's going to be reading anything about us anytime soon. Oh, I'll cancel the movers. How'd you do it? I've reasoned with them. They're not going to give us any trouble. Reason? With the conspiracy nuts. I know what I'm doing. Just give me some trust, buddy. Give me a little trust. So we've agreed to help Kay with the media crusade. He says the CEO of Palisade Property Bank, Ashani Talwar, likes to keep dirt on all our big name clients, including Pikus Media. You need to get into her office and find something like a dossier or an email. Anything Kay can use to incriminate Pikus. That seems uh, easy enough. Let's go ahead and grab this. So now we can move heavy objects, and that's good be for a couple of reasons. One, because we're going to try and get out of here with that, instead of crawling through the the little opening. And two, nice, because keep giving them We can now get into the uh, rave party in two ways. We're going to get that spare ticket. We're gonna get that spare ticket from the apartment, or we could just go in through that back way by moving that thing. I'm assuming, of course, that that is a way in there. It's, it seems like the most obvious alternative way in. I didn't see a way in through the sewers, so... Now it's just a matter of figuring out if enough time has passed for those cleaners to show up. Hopefully they remove those officers from out front of the building. <laughs> They've been there for uh, a while. Okay, so from here, let's just head back to that apartment real quick. 